Brooksaw Antiques here today. We have this 1973 Smith Corona Galaxy 12 vintage portable typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. Up top we have the margins and the adjustable paper guide. And we're going to line that right up with the edge of the platen. And we're going to put this margin on zero and this right margin on 75. And this paper support arm flips up from the back. This is the paper bill that sits on top. Pulls the paper down. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You hit this line space, get you back to the beginning. It skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip the switch back one. It skips two, one more, it skips three. That works good. We're gonna keep it on single and finish typing. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. I'll type a sentence in red on the next line and switch from black to red. There's a switch on the right side here. You flip that down to the red marker and it'll print the bottom portion of the ribbon. Beautiful typing machine. Very good condition, well maintained over the years. The print looks good. This is the typewriter that I would probably type on if I was daily typing, but I'm not, I'm just a mechanic. Very easy and smooth and the font is perfect for you know correspondence. To pull the page out easy, you just flip the switch on the right and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the page out easy or a little thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly. I'm gonna flip that down for now. The backspace on the left side here, that works good. Shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. Clear that, you just hit the shift button again. The tab function is up top here. Right now we should have one tab around the middle and that's where it stops when you push that tab bar. And to clear that, you just hit this right side clear button and it'll go all the way to the end. And as you can see, it kind of pulls a little tight. So um, we're gonna set one in the middle again. So that way when the next time the tab bar gets pushed, it doesn't go slamming all the way to the end causing wear and tear. It'll stop right there in the middle. And you can set as many tabs as you want on this model. On the left side here is your touch control, low, medium, and high. The higher up you go, the less tension there is when you hit the keys. So you don't have to hit them as hard to make them print. And the farther down you go, it just loads more tension. So It'll respond faster, but you have to hit the keys harder. I'm going to keep that on low for now. Down below on the right by the space bar, this is your space bar, uh, you have a power space. So it's basically like a machine gun function gets you multiple spaces by pushing that. And this funny button up top uh, on the right side, it's got an arrow pointing down. What that does is if you have multiple keys locked, locked up, like that, it'll just push them down. I guess just one at a time. Um, I don't really know what that does beneficial. It's just kind of an extra function. Maybe if you're typing daily, you'll have to use that sometimes, but I, I don't know, I'm not a typer. Open the hood, you get your, um, your ribbon and your spools. All the brand new ribbons loaded on the left side. So it's pulling to the right. But if you want to switch the direction, you just push that switch behind the left spool back and it'll pull to the left. And when you type, it'll start pulling counterclockwise to the left. If you push it to the front, it'll start pulling clockwise to the right. That works good. We're going to push the color selector back up to black so it prints the top portion of the ribbon next time we type. On the right side of the machine, this little knob underneath the Underneath the knob here is the locking mechanism. So if you hold it up, it will release the carriage and you can put it right in the middle. And that's for when it's in the case and it lines right up in the case with this knob so it doesn't bounce around and it protects your escapement. I believe the official word for that function is the escapement throw out. This is your carriage release on the right side. And this is your carriage release on the left side. Both work good and these plastic you gotta be careful with these. These are made of plastic and they do break off if you don't close the case carefully enough when you're putting it back in the case. And if you push in that button, it'll disable the spacing when you turn the knob. 
And when you don't press it, you, you hear those clicks. Each one of those clicks is one space. And also the same function as when you pull this lever down, which is right below the line space. And that disables the spacing. So you can get to an exact spot on the page without having to navigate through each one of those spaces. And that's it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.